Well, it's going to be an energy read. So I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. I don't know, you want to take this minute just to sort of uh, ease your mind and uh, consider the things that are important to you today and um, uh, maybe take a few deep breaths, get something to drink and uh, you can even stop this tape if you need to and come back and then we'll get started, we'll do the divination. Okay, so this is the energy read. I hope it's uh, useful to you. Um, it might be at the beginning of your day and so maybe this will be a little forewarning or uh, this might be at the end of your day and you can look back and say, ah, that's why that happened. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came with some beautiful, beautiful artwork and all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. Okay, so with this three-card oracle, let's see what's important here. You know, I always say this is a time to take a deep breath. Let it out slowly. I mean, you can close your eyes if you need to and just take a minute. I'm going to shuffle these cards pretty well. And so you'll have some time to consider uh, what it is that you want to, you know, get an answer to, get a suggestion for, find a direction of, you know, all that good stuff. If you need to, stop the tape and to get yourself something to calm you, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, some soda, some water, come on back, and then we'll get started. Uh, you're going to pick one of three cards, one, two, three, and uh, you'll have plenty of time to make a decision, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And sometimes the cards that come up inspire you to something that you weren't thinking of yet. So... That happens for me anyway. So three cards. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see what kind of direction we'll get out of these. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you need to stop to take, do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll do a diet across finish. So if you chose number one, this is the Ace of Cups. So this is a great big offer of, of, a, of probably compassion or it's an emotional situation. It's uh, something that's going to touch you in some way. And the Ace of Cups is, is a great big positive uh, move in that direction. That's a yes card if that's the one that you chose. If you chose number two. Okay, this is the Chariot. Is that correct? Yeah. So this is the chariot. So this is moving things along, uh, making some progress, some inspired um, uh, direction, and uh, and could be at a, a more rapid pace than you thought. But in, in any event, it's moving forward, and this is a yes card. Okay. Choose number three. Then we've got judgment. Uh, judgment is also a yes card. And so this is, you know, wanting a fair uh, shot at this, understanding um, that, um, that we've exposed ourselves 
to this judgment. And so whatever it is, it's fine. If it's not in our favor, that's good. We got that out of the way and we'll move on. So that's why this is a yes card because we'll be moving on to something better. And if it is in our favor, then we will feel vindicated and, um, and know that uh, this yes card moved us in the right way. Okay, so we've got a yes. We've got a yes and we've got a yes. Turn these back over and do some work on this first card to see what sort of issues we can help you with. What might be the interesting situation here, this Ace of Cups, this offer, this emotional getting something going. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we'll see what the challenge is. You can barely see where the edges of these cards are. The challenge to that Ace of Cups then is this Knight of Swords. You know, the Knight of Swords is um, is going to get something done. Swords of truth and rules and justice and law and health usually, uh, sometimes actually. So the uh, Knight of Swords is the uh, sort of the balance to this offer of uh, compassion or this emotional emotional situation. The base of this then is the tower. So there's may have been just a, a shake up, something that said, ah, okay, now what? But um, that's, at the, that's at the base of this. And we've got the tools up here on the top here to get through it, whatever it was. The past of this reading is the Seven of Swords, and this is a theft. This is a uh, an injustice. This is a, 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 a something that's been done wrong. Hopefully it wasn't you that did it, but something that has happened in the past that has made this um, forgiveness have to come forward with some uh, sort of definition here with this uh, knight saying, yeah, uh, the sky of this reading is the high priestess and the high priestess is just all knowing and forgiving and knowledgeable and understanding, you know, why something uh, is emotional and why at the same time, it's always something that we can get past. And then the likely outcome of this uh, with this, and I just turned that over with this uh, ten of coins, and ten of coins, you'd like to say that's familiar wealth, familial uh, wealth. So everyone is happy; they've all gotten some sort of a uh, something that they're going to carry forth in the, in their future. If it's not cash money, if it's some sort of value, some sort of a knowledge, or some sort of a truth, that okay, now I know what I can do, and I can pass this on, and it'll make things clearer for those uh, after me. So, yes, yes, and yes. Now we'll go on to the second card. And if you chose number two, then you've got the chariot. And the chariot is its movement. It's, it's going in a direction. Okay, that's the number seven of the major arcana. So it's well on your way. And um, so we can expect not to uh, be stagnant in this regard. Okay, five cards. One, two, three, four and fire. Okay. So the signifier being the chariot, let's see what the challenge to that is. The challenge to that is temperance. Okay. Yeah. It, when things are going a certain way, you, you kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to stop this, but you know, we should make sure that we've got this tempered, uh, that this is um, a balanced situation. The base of this reading then is the magician. Wow. Okay. So the magician is, again, uh, recognizing the choices that you have available to make this decision. Uh, it could even be that this is something that's been a bit obscured, uh, as a matter of fact, and starts to be clearer uh, as you get closer to it. The Eight of Cups is really having to uh, understand, walk away from something very emotional, very valuable, but, you know, understanding that there's something more or something else even uh, uh, coming uh, in front of you. And the sky of this reading is the star. So this is the guiding light. This is the value you. This is the uh, adoration, and it's just full of emotion with this uh, uh, vase drip falling over with all the water running out, but it's inspired. So, yeah, so that's going in your direction. And then the six uh, of the final, the final outcome of this is this Knight of Wands. So this Knight is going to make something happen with this action, okay, with this plan, okay, with this forward movement. So yes, yes, and yes. All of those are you, by the way. Okay. Now, for the last one, number three, we've got judgment. So judgment, We sometimes we like to pass judgment. Sometimes we feel as if we've been judged. And uh, judgment uh, is, is, a, is a dangerous uh, tool, actually, because it can certainly make things uh, better for someone 
Um, but at the same time, uh, you know, getting the judgment right is what's the most important thing. Five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Judgment signifier. What is the challenge? What is your challenge? Judgment. That's going to be the Three of Swords. Is this the Three of Swords? Oh, this is Nine of Swords. Yeah, this is the Nine of Swords. Oh, yeah. So this is just worry and, and you know, nightmare. So this judgment is uh, a dreaded situation. It always is. Whether you're being judged or you're going to judge or if you've been judged. So um, uh, the Nine of Swords is the base of this reading. So he comes back to tell us, yeah, I'm still here and we're going to get through this. We're going to get this done. There's going to be some, some truth, some justice, some rules that carry us through in the past of this reading with this King of Wands is really being in charge of this emotional situation. Okay. Someone was, I hope it was you. And then the sky of this reading is this four of wands, which is always a short term plan. Something that's, you know, puts a smile on your face because it's a promise of something even more uh, coming. Okay. So that's the sky of that reading. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing with this two of wands is the short term planning. And so this is uh, saying, okay, I can see uh, where I need to go. I had a solid uh, plan or an action behind me, and the action I'm going to make or the plan I'm going to uh, push into, uh, I can see that this is going in a direction. So these are all nice uh, guess cards. Okay. So I hope some of that was useful for you today. So I hope that helped a little bit, and um, if it uh, rang true for you, that's great. And if it didn't, don't worry about it. We'll try again another time. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.